the slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness, if you wanna play tough, I wanna hate this. Alright, now we're on episode 15, picking up where we left off. Are you hearing this? So, after their traumatic experiences with being confronted by the reptilians, they can still hear them in the distance. And so again, that roar, that power, that energy, it causes extreme fear reaction. And with children, it's even, it's even greater. So they climb a tree to get away from the predators. And while while they're in the trees, they get a reintroduction to the Brachiosauruses or the Brontosauruses, I don't remember. And they're singing, they're singing, and uh, to me, that that's a, they're on a higher vibrational frequency. They they understand more. They're of a higher intellect. They're of a higher understanding. And then right there, um, you know, man man becomes curious, and he he tries to imitate their calls. You know, he's like, oh hey, let me try something. You know, um, fearlessness, ab uh, ability to. Engage with the wildlife, ability to harmonize with other races, really. Putting himself out there and, and trying to invite... It would be conversation, but invite interaction. And then... Lex refers to all these other races uh, as monsters because she doesn't understand them, you know, like man doesn't understand stuff, or she has had a bad encounter with one of the one of the thirteen species or two of the thirteen species, so she thinks all of these animals are like that. You know, in the beginning of the movie, only Doctor Grant right here, out of these two, have had the positive experiences with these animals already so he already has a preconceived notion of what to expect and this is their first time seeing this race but they also ex encountered the tyrannosaurus and the velociraptor already uh, not the velociraptor but they encountered the tyrannosaurus so their first encounter the first impression was horrible absolutely traumatizing And then he's saying, you know, they just do what they do, but because Lex is upset that um, the other predator, the other meat eater, the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, eats meat and, and, and kills and hunts. And Dr. Grant just replies, like, that they do what they do, you know, just like man does what he does, they do what they do. It is what it is. A dog barks, you know, don't get mad at it for barking. Animal nature, human nature, and this is simply reptilian nature. So Lex asks Dr. Grant, what are you going to do now that the past isn't a mystery? Now that you don't have to speculate. Now that it's measurable. You know, they speculated in the beginning of the movie, do those animals move in herds? Like, that was the speculation. And now they saw for a fact they do move in herds. And so, what are you going to do now that you don't have to do, you know, you don't have to speculate about the past? And he's like, man will have to evolve when disclosure happens, basically. He says, I don't know. What do you call blind? I don't know, I guess. Guess we did. We'll just have to evolve too. Evolve when disclosure happens. Intellectually, but most likely spiritually, in order to understand the higher consciousness, the advanced mathematics of our world, the higher technology. And then here Lex says, 
what if the reptilian what if the dinosaurs come back while we're asleep what if the reptilians come back while mankind is in a slumber so what if mankind is confronted with these beings while still being spiritually ignorant and so this is what dr grant says that shows that he understands what's going on and that man some people in the world understand what's going on and he says that he will stay awake he will continue to be a beacon of light against these forces. What if the dinosaurs come back while we're all asleep? Huh. I'll stay. He says he'll stay away all night to fight these forces. And then the scene concludes with he throws away the claw. So he admired and always thought and dreamt about these species and and what they did and how they did it when he was digging them up in stone but now that he was able to experience them he he's let them go he's renunciated them he's moved on and so i think that sometimes man has a hard time with being confronted with an uncomfortable reality and then needing to let go of preconceived ideas, preconceived notions. And um, that will conclude episode 15. Thank you for watching.